Welcome back to The Ed Show. We have some breaking news at this hour. More on the NFL. According to the local Fox affiliate in Houston, Texas, Minnesota Viking running back Adrian Peterson, the star of the NFL, has been indicted on a charge of reckless or negligent injury to a child. The charges for the grand jury stem from allegations Peterson beat his young son. Peterson's attorney has declined to comment. Peterson practiced with the Minnesota Vikings this afternoon. They, of course, are scheduled to play the New England Patriots this weekend. I am joined again by national sports columnist Terrence Moore. Terrence, this is yet another chapter, an embarrassment for the NFL. And this was a story, this investigation that was way under the rug. This comes from nowhere. Did you know that he was being investigated by a grand jury? I don't think anybody was. I mean, right now it's raining men in the NFL and not, not in a good way. It's like a drip, drip, drip type thing. And here's another one. This is another star in the NFL. It's not just any player. It's a star player. We you start putting all this stuff together, you've got to think that the 32 owners who hired Roger Goodell are going to have to say to themselves, okay, we're going to have to have a, a sacrificial lamb here because it's not just Roger Goodell. It's also these other 32 owners who are allowing these things to take place on their teams. Because, Ed, you know, I've mentioned this before, and I can't stress this enough. These teams know everything. They've got the best security on the face of the earth. They, they know when, when a player breathes, so they understand these type of things. And for a guy like, like Peterson still playing, for Greg Hardy still playing, for Ray McDonald still playing, it just tells you that they just haven't cared up to this point. But hopefully, yeah. this is going to uh, open some eyes. Let's talk about that NFL security. This story wasn't anywhere. And all of a sudden, the most prolific running back in the National Football League is now being under indictment by a grand jury uh, for, for negligent behavior, for beating his young son. Doesn't this speak to how the NFL can keep things under wrap and how stories just simply do not leak out? Oh, I mean, no question about it. It's like we were talking about yesterday about Spygate, the big story about Spygate with Bill Belichick, the coach of the New England Patriots, illegally taping teams to win three Super Bowls, essentially, is the fact that when the NFL gathered the evidence of the videotapes and the notes, they destroyed them, okay? And then before a, a, the Senate Judiciary Committee, led by Aaron's, uh, Arlen Specter, just flat out looked at them and just smugly said, well, I mean, it was the right thing to do. This is what we're dealing with here. And, and when you really think about it, it's very scary. Adrian Peterson indicted on negligent injury to a child by a Texas grand jury. That story being carried by a Fox affiliate in Houston, Texas at this hour. The attorney for Adrian Peterson, one of the top running backs in the NFL, has no comment. Terrence Moore, thanks for, your, for joining us tonight. I appreciate you staying around. Still ahead, Colonel Lawrence Wilkerson says ISIS's threat to the United States is overhyped. Rapid response panel is going to weigh in. Plus, Democratic heavy hitters and potential hopefuls are heading to Iowa this weekend. I will be at this Harkin Steak Fry. It's the 37th and final Harkin Steak Fry. And it's also going to open up the field to 2016. Stick around. We are right back.